Hello, my name is Gemma Turon, and this is my application to the Software Sustainability Institute Fellowship 2022. First, let me give a bit of background about myself. I'm trained as a molecular biologist. I did my PhD in the field of oncology at IRB Barcelona in Spain. And this is where I first became in contact with research software in, in the fields of image analysis and genomic analysis. And when I realized the potential of these tools and how difficult it was for scientists such as myself that didn't receive formal training into bioinformatics and programming to apply them efficiently to our day-to-day -day problems. In addition, I had the chance to participate in the organization of several scientific events and outreach activities, such as, as the first European PhD Symposium or the worldwide known Pint of Science. Finally, I've always combined my passion for science with my interest in development, and I've been working as a professional circus trainer and performer in several countries like Zambia, Palestine, and South Africa. Currently, I've merged my three main interests, which are the accessibility to scientific software, teaching and outreach activities and science for development. And I co-founded the Silly Open Source Initiative, a UK-based charity of which I am the CEO. I will continue by giving a bit of overview of the type of activities that I'm developing with Inner Cilia, and then continue on to the goals of this fellowship. Our mission at the Cilia Open Source Initiative is to democratize the access to artificial intelligence and machine learning tools for scientific research, First, by providing user-friendly access to these models to scientists worldwide without the need to write a single line of code. Second, by collaborating in open source drug discovery projects and supporting research mostly into infectious and neglected diseases. Finally, our goal is also to raise the interest of the next generation of scientists into the newest developments into artificial intelligence and machine learning and software development and application to day-to-day -day experiments. As part of the activities that we do with Inercilia, I have developed an introduction to Python programming for biologists curriculum that you can see in, in our GitHub page and with, that we have implemented with our collaborators within Africa. We have also participated in the Open Source Malaria Consortium led by Professor Matthew Todd at the University College of London, for which we have developed novel chemical structures in, that can be potential drugs against malaria. Finally, we are working to develop the Cilia Model Hub, a hub of artificial intelligence and machine learning models for research, where scientists can browse through a collection of open source models, select the ones that are relevant to their research, and run predictions without the need to write a single line of code. In, thanks to the Cilia Model Hub, now researchers, for example, have access to, to models built by third parties, and they simply have to input their molecule of interest and get whether it's active or inactive for this particular assay. And moreover, we also select relevant data sets from the literature and train in-house models for, based on this data so that this data can be actually reused in, in the scientific field, as is the case for this open source discovery of antimalarials. If I get awarded the fellowship, the plan and goals would be to use it to promote open data sharing, increase the involvement of the research community in developing novel artificial intelligence and machine learning tools, and importantly, bridging the gap between software researchers and experimental scientists so that these tools are actually used in day-to-day -day experiments. In addition, we want to increase the re reusability of already developed resources, be it tools or data sets that have been produced by supporting their open source implementation, and finally, linking UK-based researchers to researchers in low- and middle-income countries and spreading the research that is led in the UK in the field of infectious and neglected diseases to other countries that are highly affected by those. As part of the fellowship, I, I plan to do the following activities. First, to participate in software research conferences in the UK, to engage with the software research community and get feedback and implementation of, of our tools. Second, to develop a carpentry-style workshop or even uh, a self-organized workshop with a focus on these novel artificial intelligence and machine learning resources for, for research and, and how can scientists use them and apply them efficiently to their, to their different fields of work and maybe even becoming a carpentry instru instructor myself. And finally, use blog posts, social networks and other scientific communication channels to issue a call so that we can gather new data sets and new models and basically bring together researchers and, and model developers and, and bridge the gap between these two. 
at the end of the fellowship, I hope I succeed in bringing closer together researchers in software development and research, experimental researchers in the laboratories that actually have to use their software to solve their problems. And second, in exporting the knowledge that is produced in the UK to the to researchers in other areas of the world. Thank you very much.